Hi everyone and welcome to stage 6 of this walk from Glasgow to Ben Nevis. Today we will be covering 26 kilometres or 16 miles from Kinloch Leven to Fort William. Ahead of us we've got two fairly steady climbs and then towards the end we'll get our first views of Ben Nevis uh, which stands at 1,345 metres or 4,412 feet. This climb up Ben Nevis will be featured in stage 7. There will be a link below and if you've missed any of the other five stages, links below as well. Right, we've got some serious climbing to do here, so I think it's a case of less talking, more walking. And I'll speak to you along the way. Today's uh, weather forecast is partly sunny, temperatures low to mid 20s, which is pleasantly warm for this part of Scotland, even in summer. Although I did notice as we're walking through the uh, the undergrowth back there, the bushes and the trees, you could really feel the, the humidity in the air. Shortly we'll be out of this area and into some moorland where it will no doubt get warmer but it should be less humid. This incline is around about two kilometers in length. So it's a good way to warm the old legs up for the rest of the stage. Okay, one thing I didn't mention to you before was this lake between Kinloch Leven and Fort William is the last of the five stages on the West Highland Way and I will no doubt show you the finishing line when we get to Fort William. Yes! Another thing worth mentioning are maps. Although the West Highland Way is well signposted it doesn't hurt to bring some maps with you as well. Now you can buy Ordnance Survey maps in most news agents, bookshops across the UK or you can go onto our website called www.streetmaps.co.uk It is actually provided by Ordnance Survey. Put in the, the town or the village that you want to start your walk in. Uh, you can enlarge it, you can zoom in, you can do a full screen if you're using a laptop or a PC, do a screen capture and then print it off. Boom. I've printed off maybe about a dozen different maps for this part of the West Highland Way or since I started in Glasgow. If I had bought actual maps from a bookshop, it would have cost me a fortune, and I might only use them once. Who says you don't learn good stuff on this uh, YouTube channel? Right, we're on a kind of a, a gravel track now, which is a good thing, and according to my free Ordnance Survey map, this should last for the next five kilometres. Back there was a little bit of a challenge, but the fresh legs handled it fine. The track I'm walking along was built between 1749 and 1750. It was part of a network of old military roads built by the British government uh, in the Scottish Highlands to bring order to parts of the country which had risen up in the Jacobite Rebellion of 1715. So there you go. So considering 300 years old or 250 years old, it's been looked after and it's still in use. Right, the first summit of the day is up ahead. It's really just a pass between two valleys, 330 metres, doesn't sound much, but it's been an upward slog for about seven kilometres and we're nearly there. Well, it's 
blowing an absolute gale here. It's the pass between two valleys, so the wind kind of scoots up one valley over the pass into the next valley. I was just thinking, I've been walking now for about an hour and 20 minutes. I'd only seen one couple heading in that direction, and now away in the distance I can see another couple of hikers. There are not too many people on this stage of the West Highland Way. Although there are lots of sheep, I can hear them buying everywhere. Yes, bow to you too. I was hoping for around about two kilometres of shade inside a pine plantation. Looks as if I'm a little bit too late. This is the, the second of the sizable hills. It's an upward climb of about two kilometres. I think it's only about 400 metres tall, but it's relentless. And once we get over this, downhill all the way to Fort William. Squeaky, squeaky gates. Well, there you go, our first view of Ben Nevis. At last, Fort William in the distance, and I can see the path which leads to the summit of Ben Nevis. We're going to do that in stage seven, guys. Just on the outskirts of Fort William now, there's around about six kilometres to go to the end of the, uh, the walk. Oh. Well guys, I'm nearly there. Fort William High Street, straight ahead. And about 500 metres to the end. Oh. Well guys, I made it to Fort William. A total of 176 kilometres or 109 miles from Glasgow. Don't forget though, stage 7 is the next one, which is the ascent of Ben Nevis. So if you don't want to miss out on me struggling, make sure you subscribe. Thanks very much for your support, and I'll see you next time.